Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, October the 27th, 2022, and this is episode 3917. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Wise and Harmless. Stay tuned. Wise and harmless. What are you talking about, Bruce? I'm talking about snakes and doves. In Matthew chapter 10, Jesus says something really powerful, and it's really important, I think, for us living in the day in which we live. Now, when Bible companies, uh, Thomas Nelson, other companies like that, Schoolfield Bibles, they would add a little, um, uh, little phrases before certain sections of a chapter, kind of giving you an idea of what it was going to be talking about. So, um, in chapter 10, verse one above that, it says the 12 apostles above uh, verse five, it says sending out the 12, uh, above verse uh, 27, it says Jesus teaches the fear of God. And of above verse uh, 34, Christ brings division. And But just above verse 16 is this description. Persecutions are coming. Now, I am not saying anything uh, prophetic here or political here. But Jesus taught his disciples in their particular age that persecutions were coming, and he gave them some incredible advice. Now, I would suggest to believers that persecutions are probably coming. And this passage of Scripture gives us wisdom and instruction in understanding about how we should respond. So, verse 16. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But be aware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and scourge you in their synagogues, you will be brought before governors and kings for my sake as a testimony to them. But when they deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you should speak, for it will be given to you in that hour what you should speak. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father who speaks in you. Now brother will deliver up brother to death, and a father his child and children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake. Be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Now, after introducing us to the reality that not everyone will accept the good news message of the gospel. Jesus prepares us for how difficult that rejection would be. There will be some who have a benign attitude that ignores the message, but others will have a malignant and vengeful attitude toward the gospel and those who share it. How vicious? Jesus' followers would be like sheep hunted by a den of wolves. And in such circumstances, two qualities are not only essential, they're commanded. First, Jesus' followers are to be bright, insightful, strategic, smart, clever, and wise. In other words, we won't stupidly muddle through when opposed. We do not want to bring unnecessary shame on ourselves the cause of Christ or the church. And second, even if we are hounded, criticized, and despised, 
Let's make sure that we are people of character, peace, and purity. Clearly, the Apostle Peter got that message because a reading of 1 Peter teaches us how to practically live out what Jesus teaches here. Wisdom and innocence in a hostile world in which we live as witnesses to Jesus Christ and his kingdom. Give us wisdom, Father, to face those who despise your name, your cause, your message, your people. Help us not to become hateful toward them like those who hate us and your cause. Instead, create in us a pure and loving heart that we might know and live your ways in witness to those who don't know you. In Jesus' name, amen. Be wise and harmless today. Enjoy your Thursday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.